it's so far we haven't broken out a calculator in this course so this is the first time we're actually going to do it um, so let's go ahead and calculate um, let's say if we sweat and we take basically five grams of water and uh, we let it evaporate so delta h of vaporization for this is i think we said 44 it's actually 44.0 kilojoules per mole at room temperature okay so technically uh, if we're at room temperature it means we're probably dead and uh, the reaction of course is water in the liquid phase right one mole of that turning into water in the gas phase and the question is how much heat are we dealing with here and remember we're under constant pressure conditions so enthalpy and heat are very highly related to each other how much heat are we dealing with here so we can set this up as a conversion factor problem we can take the five grams of water and uh, we need to convert it to moles so remember that we add up the weights of two hydrogens and an oxygen we get 18.02 so that's the molar mass that's how many grams there are in a mole and we should always say what it is it's a mole of water and a gram of water and if you want to put the one up there that's totally fine as well and the 44 kilojoules per mole is telling you that there's 40 four kilojoules of enthalpy required um, every time you vaporize a mole of water so we can just write it in as a conversion factor in fact uh, we can also kind of write it in um, like so if we like to on the very end and then it's just really a stoichiometry problem so uh, for every one mole of these right it takes 44 kilojoules that's why you get that conversion factor right there so you go ahead and you multiply that through and you get something like 12.2 uh, kilojoules so uh, you have to actually absorb 12.2 uh, kilojoules to get that water to vaporize and why is that so useful well what that really means right is it that you are sweating and uh, you are going to lose uh, five grams of water in the form of uh, water vapor then you have to provide 12.2 kilojoules of heat so that means that you lose 12.2 kilojoules of heat and the water has to take uh because there's no free lunch in this universe right 12.2 kilojoules of heat so that's a great bargain right so you get to say goodbye to 12.2 kilojoules of heat and the water carries off if you like 12.2 kilojoules of heat from you